Hello everyone, welcome again in Hangman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning of CO2 storage modeling and simulation using CMG Gem. Okay, so it's a very, very interesting, important topic for us to learn. And CMG is a very good tool for us to simulate and to do modeling of the CCUS, especially for this case for saline aquifer. Okay, so previously we have done some editing using cedit and now you see our file is co2injection.dat i want to bring this file into the simulation machine and the simulation machine for cmg in this case is gem so i will drop and drop to the gem okay and this is the submit run a simulation job job Process settings, we will use four as default for processors. Simulation simulator name is GEM. Okay, so we have IMAX, GEM, or STARS as simulator. In this case, for CO2 storage, I will use GEM. Okay, because GEM is better to do CO2 storage simulation compared to, for example, IMAX. Simulator version is this one, priority normal, method to find executable, find exact version, and then project name, yeah, default folder. Input file, co2injection.dat. Here, output file is dot out. So later, after the simulation has been completed, and if we want to check the file, it's dot dot. co2injection.dat. And the log file is here, co2injection.log. Okay, so it's a very simple thing. We can click OK. And then we can check also the... Let's wait for a little while. Okay, so if you want to check the log, you can this one, you can do like this one. And here... ID one project name default folder job name co2 injection dot that priority normal status is still running and then schedule local and this is the date and the file is here co2 injection dot out this is dot that this is dot out okay you can also refresh. Here we have our file co2injection.out. This is the size, type out file, and this is the date. Okay. You can also check the log. co2injection.log. Okay. You can expand and you see the results for each time step, gem time step summary. Okay, here we have size days, and then this is the Newton cycles, the days, date, pressure, and then the saturation, the composition, fraction, material balance error, and the sulfur iteration per cycle. Okay, it's very good. You see this one. This one is the number of days. Okay, 30 days or 31 days. This is the, the week, week number 141 or others. Okay, let's go down to the bottom. This is the results, by the way. And later on, we will visualize this result in, in the results, okay? Result section of the CMG, okay? It's very interesting. And the calculation time is relatively simple. By the way, you can also do that here. You touch this one, right click and view log file, or you can also directly double click here. Okay, let's go to the bottom and let's see what happened. Okay, 
So the last week is the this one. And total number of times, Newton cycles, solver iterations, and then time step cuts, solver failure, zero, material balance error, quite small. Implicitness, memory usage, only 67 megabytes and others. Okay, so it's very, very, very good. All right. There's no problem during the simulation or the computation. Okay, so we can minimize and let's find dot SR3. Okay, SR3. So this will be the results file to be visualized. Okay, to be visualized. So I will again click this one, left button. I will drag it and drop it to the results. Results is the interface to show the visualization of the result to the plotting and others. Okay, so let's drop it to the results and wait for the results to be ready. All right, okay. So you see now the CO2 injection.sr3, the results file has been registered. And on the next video, we will, we will interpret and first we will visualize the result and we, we interpret the results. Okay, so I think we can call it a day. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again on the next CMG for CO2 storage videos. Thank you.